in simple pub English, you're cheating. No, I think it's the other way around. No. I'm sorry. I, I, Wait, it's a spin as you oh, Kevin. It is, well, you know. But, I mean, I, I, as I say, the bloke doesn't you know, lie straight. They're, 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 it can't lie straight choices, in bed. There will be choices. Yes, is our obnoxious Grant Shapps really is playing a game of complete smoke and mirrors with the truth? Now, what do I mean? Now, while in the Defence Committee meeting on the 26th of March 2024, where the topic of conversation started off with the Defence budget, and judging by the last clip, Labour MP Kevin Jones clearly doesn't believe a single word our forenamed Shapps says. Yeah, I think you'd expect us to start with the budget. Um, and since the budget on the 6th of March, there's been some uncertainty whether or not defence uh, expenditure is rising or being cut next year. So an open question to start with. Could you clarify what the position is? I kick off and then hand over to uh, Tom. Now, the thing is, I cut this bit out because our forename Shaps was just waffling and I was losing the will to live. And if I were losing the will to live, I could imagine you would have done as well. But if you want to watch the meeting, I'll leave a link in the description box for, below for you. It's at the very start, so you won't have to look for it. But clearly, again, our Kevin Jones shows how much disdain he has for our grand Shaps. Yeah, so to compound those figures, you end up with a 54.2 billion the previous year and a 55.6 this year but no, I know you want to get into the details so I'm going to ask Tom to no, no, I'm doing, give you the I'm doing numbers. it deliberately separate between oh, okay. because I know in your tweets you have a tendency to conflate Adel and Adel. well and conflate things that frankly don't add up but go on carry on see what I mean clearly not buying into his utter nonsense and another one who didn't buy into any of the smoke and mirrors is our weekend warrior yes the man who's been trained never to lose, Marc Francois, either. And that's Much of that comes from the contingency reserve, which has always been accounted for differently. You know as well as I do, this is all deliberate smoke and mirrors, David. No, it's not deliberate smoke and mirrors, because the it claim from the is. reserve comes through the defence uh, budget in the end uh, and is reported in our annual report and accounts. It's audited by the NAO. It, it's, the, it's the authoritative figure on what we have spent. It is, but the problem is with that, though... Uh, and it's interesting, when I was in department, it was one of the things the Conservatives always said, you should take out, for example, the expenditure on Afghanistan and uh, mm. Iraq. Uh, so we're now saying that we shouldn't have done that, or we shouldn't, uh, so the arguments that Mr Shapps and others were making at the time was wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, I, I just think um, uh, uh, if, if, if the argument is uh, should we spend more on defence, this government agrees, we're committed to 2.5%, not all yeah, sides um, of the well, House well, well, agree I, with can that. Can I stop you there? Because we can get on to that later on. Uh, okay, but I mean, and, it's, and, it's and, within uh, this well, context. Well, hang on, we'll get on to that later on. Other people have got questions on that, so I don't really want to eat their sandwiches. Yeah. So we need to, and I know you're very good at flannelling and uh, making you know, the positive statements, but what we need to do is do with the detail. And it's important as a committee, and I think for the public as well, they get an understanding in terms of the actual figures, rather than rather, well, of course, than, what, so, rather than what you put in a tweet, for so, example. Well, just to be fair, though, um, you can't take the outturn of 23-24 uh, and somehow include supplementaries and then compare it with the projection for 24-25 and not include supplementaries, because that's then you not being consistent. No, well, I am and all I'm doing well, is being well, consistent. Well, well, well I, you know. you're not being consistent at all. I was trying to be fair to try and get... Uh, well, well, uh, sorry, I was trying to be fair with you to try and get an understanding so people are, so we can actually get to the bottom of what the claim is. And I think, fair to David, he's, he's gone through that in terms of explaining how the actual outturns come around, which is fine. Uh, which those figures that uh, Mr Whitman has just, just outlined, that's fine. I have a better understanding of what you're, you're suggesting now. I, Mark, do you want to come in? I yes, please. Look, look for, 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 for people that are watching, yeah. and we're talking about estimates and outturns and supplementary estimates, so let's just go right back to the basics. This is the budget red book. This is the document that gives the detail, the small print, if you like, <coughs> after a budget. And it lists the revenue spending for each of the departments, their limits, known as RDEL, and their capital spending limits, known as CDEL. So, and it lists each department. So if you look at the RDEL list, which is table 2.1 on page 25 of the report, take a comparison with education. So the education budget, 
for 2023-24 is 81.9 billion and then for 24-25 it's 84.9 billion so it's gone up 3 billion pounds so far so straightforward when you do the same for the MOD budget, the core budget, it goes from 35 billion in 23-24 to 32.8 billion in 24-25, so the financial year that is just about to start. So that's a cut of 2.2 billion pounds in the core defence budget. Now, when you do that for capital, it goes from 19.2 in 23-24 to 18.9 in 24-25. So that's another 0.3 billion, 300 million off. So when you add the two, that's two and a half billion pounds. Now, I'm not a qualified accountant, but I was a shadow treasury minister under Osborne for three years in opposition. So I learned to read this document by application. The amount we're giving to Ukraine next year is 2.5 billion. So it's almost exactly the same as the cut in next year's core defence budget. So what you tried to do, and that is always traditionally paid for out of the contingency reserve, just as we did with the Falklands War and most other conflicts, it's always been the way. So if you compare apples and apples, that 2.5 billion that goes to Ukraine is not part of the UK defence budget because you can't spend the same pound twice. So if you're spending it on shells for the Ukrainians, money well spent, you can't spend it on army salaries or on submarine maintenance or on new runways for the Air Force. So what you've done is you've suffered a massive defeat at the hands of the Treasury. You've had your budget cut by 2.5 billion pounds and you're now trying to play smoke and mirrors with the Ukrainian money to pretend that your budget hasn't been cut when it's been slashed, aren't you, Secretary of State? No, no. You uh, absolutely are. Well, let, if, if, let me answer. Let me um, I, I disagree. Uh, and actually, the, the problem with the numbers you've written out is they are read out as they are in themselves misleading because the previous... They're in the, they're in the budget I read know, but book. If you, it's the me... Now, hang on. It's the official document of the government. OK, however, uh, if you give me a moment here... The, the, and and you, by the way, you and I start from the same place. We both want to spend more on yeah. uh, defence. This government's committed to spending more on defence, and, and I absolutely uh, agree. The government is committed to 2.5% as conditions allow. Other parties are only committed to 2%. Sorry for having an extended watch of the weekend, Warrior, but I just thought that what he had to say was quite important and highlighted quite literally exposed our forename shaps nonsense as well by the looks of it and he also brought up the 2.5 percent again didn't he and other parties are only spending two percent nonsense again but keep that in mind because that becomes relevant later on but our forename shaps tries to bring in the national audit office into the conversation to try and save himself i suppose including into the past years as well the only way to look at this is as the NEO looks at it in the audited accounts, which is it does end up including supplementals, which isn't just the two and a half billion, though the number, as you've pointed out, would conveniently well, well, suggest. Yeah. It's also well, dread law, it's also stock if, if, if you want it's also to, other operations. If you want to draw in the NAO in evidence, in their equipment plan report, recently reported on by the PAC, you've got a black hole over the equipment plan of £29 billion. Pounds. Again, misleading, so, because... What, what, the, oh, well, so the NAO and the PAC yes, are wrong as well? It, it's misleading, and the reason is this. That equipment plan is £288.6 billion pounds over a 10-year period, of which only 25% of it is committed, and it assumes, <clears throat> when the NAO looks at it, that we don't get to our 2.5% stated public... Uh, position oh, of uh, defence expenditure, just, just, no, hang on a which yeah, yeah. this government Marcus, says it's committed to. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Secretary of State, everyone can see what you've done. You've been defeated by the Treasury. You are slap bang guilty of Enron accounting, and you're trying to blow smoke in everybody's eyes by using the Ukrainian money and pretending it's you, part of the UK. Hang on of the UK defence budget, it's not, it's part of the Ukrainian budget. Francois, you're doing exactly the same. You are using Ukrainian money from last year and including it in the budget, and then saying, but you can't include it in this year's budget, no, and then no, coming to misleading no, conclusions. No, because normally the Red Book, these, these are what an accountant would call accounting adjustments. 
So you've got a total, and then there are some differences to the total, and you record why the two numbers are different, right? The Red Book barely mentions defence at all. We have a Chancellor that has no interest in defence. We all know that. Why, then, aren't these supplementals footnoted in the Red Book? Why aren't last year's supplementals we, footnoted in the Red Book? I, if you, I join you on the campaign to have those footnoted, but it cannot be right to claim the inclusion of other expenditure, including the supplementals for a range of different issues, in one year, and then look forward and say, but we're not going to include them, unless you think that we're not going to make those contributions, for example, to Ukraine or Dreadnought or other operations or the stockpiles, all of which are already declared. And in defence of the Chancellor, he has spoken himself about 4% in the past. Yes. So I don't think he has no interest in defence. Well, in simple pub English, you're cheating. No, I think it's the other way around. No. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to well. push back very, very strongly, but respectfully. Well, well, well I feel very, very Because strongly. you are deliberately quoting figures, including supplementals, and then not comparing apples with apples when we look at this year. Yeah, I, I, I think we either have to do I both or neither. Yeah. So, I think we should now draw a line on this debate, because we've, but I think it illustrates one particular point, which is that we've discussed for eight minutes what the historic numbers are that you've presented. There's something wrong in the formulation that we should have this length of debate. And, and given that the, uh, the message that we need to send to adversaries is one of confidence in the funding streams you're getting and all the rest, we clearly need to do better in terms of uh, presenting uh, the, uh, the numbers that you are uh, receiving. So when you get both our weekend warrior and the chair of the Defence Select Committee, Sir Jeremy Quinn, who are both Tories blowing holes into his utter nonsense, well, what is Labour MP Kevin Jones supposed to think here then? And remember the time when our four names chaps kept saying that they're investing into spending 2.5% and others are only going to spend 2%. Well, clearly Kevin Jones had had enough of his conflations. Okay, thank you. Uh, if they, look, the bigger picture, Secretary of State, is getting to that 2.5%. Now, you'll be pleased to hear that I was quoting you to the Prime Minister in the Liaison Committee um, not long ago, uh, and your wise words about the necessity of getting to 2.5% uh, and pre-war, and also, uh, I didn't actually mention your aspirations to go beyond 2.5%. Uh, uh, and yet the Prime Minister didn't commit to a time uh, and a date uh, for the 2.5% uh, and the uplift. Are you able to, to uh, uh, enlighten us now? I'm certain the Prime Minister would have told you an hour ago if uh, that was going to be um, an announcement for today. Uh, but the government is committed to 2.5%. Um, it is, uh, you know, my view, as you know from my speech in Lancaster House in, in January, uh, that we are living in a more dangerous world, and I used that post-war to pre-war a uh, phrase to describe why I think the challenges are greater, and I'm in complete agreement um, that, that you know you, you you have to pay for that defence. Um, so uh, you know exact timing, as we've said all along, is a, a matter for the Chancellor and the government's described it as being as conditions allow. Well, I'm the Secretary of State for Defence, so obviously I uh, you know urge for uh, us to move to that position um, as quickly as uh, possible. There will be uh, other opportunities, including an election coming. Other parties are only committed to 2%. The NATO base, that's about a £7 billion a year cut to the current defence spending uh, picture. So 2% is about £7 billion less than we spend at the moment it's per annum. That's just complete so, spin as you... Kevin. It is, well, you know. But, I mean, I, I, as the I say, the bloke doesn't you know, lie straight. There, 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 there will be choices come... Uh, come uh, a uh, you know, parliamentary election um, for um, different views of this. And but you're cutting the defence budget Kevin, can you go through me, please? Yeah, but you're well, cutting the defence budget now. Well, as we've just heard, it's a 1.8% real uh, increase if you include oh, all of the yes, supplementaries, because you're not including, again... Include the figures that Mr Wimple just uh, said. Uh, and uh, again. Go on those rather than what you spin. Well, I, know well, I know it's a difficult thing for you to do, not to spin things as you actually well, like. Mr. Jones, I, I deal I, with facts. I'm, I'm sorry, but the I fact, just, I we've, had, we've had a long time on that, and the facts are, once you include the supplementals, yeah. we're spending more this year than we did last year. That is the things fact. that aren't necessarily I, for core yeah. defence expenditure. Well, I think, so I think we've had enough is. debate on it. So there are many other things we can discuss other than the, the numbers. Oh, sure, I, said, yeah. I said... I said... Oh, very interesting, eh? Now, if it was just Kevin Jones who was 
the only one tearing chunks out of our four name shaps. I would have just said it was just a bit of political point scoring. But when you also have the weekend warrior and Jeremy Quinn both poking holes into his utter drivel, you know something's very wrong, isn't there? Now, again, as I said, I cut a lot of his baloney out because he didn't really say anything of interest. So again, I will leave the link in the description box below and it does last a good half hour and it's at the very start. So there's no searching required, but there's a lot in there that will leave you a bit shocked, I think, at what you're going to see. Or maybe you won't. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Is this government and four name shaps playing fast and loose with the truth? Playing smoke and mirrors with a defence budget? Let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care my friends.